Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about role-playing games! Uh, again, we have the amazing backdrop by Juan Ochoa. You should totally check out his website. Love his art. Look at this dude. Uh, hello, hello, Francis. How are you doing? I am doing very well, Dr. Tom. Now, now you, you have you seen, is this not amazing? Do you love this guy back here? Oh, I love it. I, I watched that episode, and I watched him draw it, and I was stunned at, at how it all came out. It was brilliant. Very cool. Now, uh, Lowell here is on because he he is from a blog about uh, professional football in Baltimore. Uh, so how'd you become such a big Ravens fan? Well, actually, I did my master's work at Johns Hopkins, and that got me interested. And that was actually my early version of the blog was was about the, the Baltimore Ravens, but then I got a cease and desist. So I moved over to Age of Ravens, which is primarily about role-playing games. Oh, about role – see, I thought perhaps it could be a, a Teen Titans fanfic show, but that's, that's not it. No, unfortunately not, no. Ah, I see. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I've read your blog once, but frankly, never more. Oh, touche. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now I, I, I'm having you on, first of all, because of the blog, which is any nominated. Isn't that right? Any nominated? Yes, uh, for, for best website against some really serious competition this year. It was kind of startling. Um, you, you submit the... the the entries, but I had no expectation that it would actually get nominated. That is so fantastic. Congratulations, Lowell. I'm super excited for you. You, What do you kind of content do you have on there? It's mostly just um, one-page dungeons, right? Is, is, I oh, think that's <laughs> no. <laughs> no um, so uh, campaign frames, I do a lot of work on that. I've got my actual play videos. I've done some work on uh, system guides for new players for things like 13th Age and Fate. Uh, I do a lot of reviews. Everything I do at home, working on hacks and uh, variation things I put up there, and general advice on RPGs. And then, of course, uh, the big thing I've been doing recently connected with Patreon is the the histories of uh, various RPG genres for the last couple of years. Oh, we're we're going to stick a pin on that and, and come okay. back to that. Sure. Yeah. Why, why do you do a blog? Uh, it's going to sound uh, kind of I, I left my last position as an editor uh, at an academic press and was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, and about maybe six months after I had gotten out of that, I realized I need to be writing every day. And since I knew RPGs, that's what I started doing was just writing everything down as much as I could and getting in the habit. Uh, not that I expect anybody to be reading it, but it, it means that at least I'm generating things and getting it down on paper, you know, once or twice a week, if not more. Oh, cool. Now, what's your favorite part of, of doing uh, uh, the, the blog? Oh, gee, that's a really good question. Uh, I, I think it's that uh, it forces me to go and, and uh, think about this stuff all the time, which I love doing, and, and putting stuff in a, down in a concrete way. And, and because of that, I've met a lot of really interesting people who do neat stuff. Um, your production manager, Rich, uh, uh, and uh, like I've met a couple of people that uh, of games they really like, like Ben Robbins, who does Microscope and Kingdom, has has contacted me. So that's been neat. Um, and my players don't read it. <laughs> you know, I have a, a large group, and, and they they rarely read it. So I know that I can put spoilers up there, and they won't won't follow up on that. Oh man, I'll, I'll pass that along, Rogers. You heard that he, he was being nice to you. So keep keep in mind. All right, that's. That's cool. They get to meet people. I, I love doing this show because I get to meet interesting folks who are doing cool things in the hobby. That's cool. Now, uh, you, you are, as a scholar of RPGs, I have to extol, uh, because you, you recently came out with a mind-blowingly comprehensive and, may I say, far overdue history of amphibian RPGs. I, I mean, I don't really have a question. I just want to say you rock, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Well, one of the things is is that having spoken with with Richard Origins, and we talked about that, and I realized there was a whole train of game design that hadn't been explored. I mean, we've got playing at the world that covers the early days of TSR. We've got uh, Dice and Dragons, which covers all the hobby, you know, industry industry side. But it's like people have ignored the whole amphibian side of things, and I think that does a real disservice to. Uh, real founders of 
uh, that line, like uh, uh, Ken Saint Salamandre uh, and his work on Tunnels and Toads. Uh, and and uh, so I'll have that up uh, and available on my blog, uh, going over things from from Tunnels and Toads to Hopper to Gamma Pond uh, to uh, World of Croakness. Uh, to uh, Battle Toads of the 23rd century and and all the, the exciting games that have gone on that have been sadly overlooked uh, by the mainstream hobby. I, you are a scholar and a gentleman. I just love that you point out how, uh, you know, Bugged Eyed's Wide Mouth and Frogs in the Vineyard were, were definitely, uh, they were landmarks in the in the overall hobby and how much influence they had. And honestly, they've been copied by quite a few other designers. That's Absolutely. okay. That's that's okay. They're more popular, you know. Um, someone has to do first mover, second mover. I've read a paper or listen to a podcast or something about that. That's so so be it. But this is great. So you're going to have that up on your blog. Which, by the Absolutely. way, any any's voting as this comes out because I'm going to try to get I'm going to crack the whip on Rogers there and get this out uh, soon enough for maybe if you watch this right away, you could still go vote for you for best website, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And, and, and as you check out the website, because you want to make an informed decision, you can check out the history of amphibian RPGs. <laughs> wow. Lowell, this, this has been super fun. Uh, so now I want to, to tail it off because it's time for a serious question. Are you ready for a serious question, Lowell? I have been, been ever since I heard that I was going to be on the show, I've been, been sort of nervously anticipating this moment. All right. Well, this, this, the crack writing staff has worked hard on this one. I'm very excited. All right. Here we go. Now you're going to, have to listen to the whole question. Is okay. is, is several parts and subparts. Are you are you ready now? I am ready. All right. Bruce Campbell, Bruce Willis, or Bruce Lee. In general, is what you're saying. I'm saying Bruce Campbell, Bruce Willis, or Bruce Lee. Hmm. Oh boy, that's a really difficult question. I think I am going to have to go with Bruce Campbell um, because everything I've heard about Bruce Willis is that he's kind of an unpleasant human being, um, and uh, Bruce Lee uh, was was quite uh, apparently. Uh, hard to work with at times, but Bruce Campbell is supposed to be a super nice guy. So I have to go with Bruce Campbell, you know, uh, just in general for asking that question. Um, and uh, if we're going with characters that they played, uh, it's Bruce Campbell's characters that I want backing me up, I think. Oh, yeah. Ash, definitely great backup there. Even Evil Ash would be kind of awesome. Yes, absolutely. And a talk, 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 You just watch the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime. <laughs>